think uh, uh, talk us uh, about the match, uh, talk to us about the match, how do you think it went, uh, especially after you won the first game. And also a little about the third game when you made a comeback from uh, five or six down uh, at the end of the So, yeah. Um, well, yeah, I think we um, started off quite well in the first game. Uh, but uh, in the second, uh, couldn't really start off well. I think we um, were down 5-1, I remember, and then uh, made a few errors, and uh, like in no time we were down 11-5. And from then on, it was quite difficult to come back. And um, they can be a, quite a formidable defensive pair. Um, and uh, we couldn't really get the shuttle down against them. But uh, in the third set, I think we started off we quite well, but eventually, gave them a lead. Uh, they played quite a solid defense as well. Uh, had a comeback in the uh, third set late into the match. I think uh, had a few chances also. Probably if we would have come or you know, made it equal, eventually at 16, 15 all, and we were there 15, 14 all, at 17, 16, uh, quite a few long rallies should have, probably should have made it all. Uh, then there would have been even more pressure on them, uh, but uh, couldn't do that credit to them. Uh, they played quite a solid defense, and uh, but yeah, overall I think uh, obviously we are sad uh, losing that final against uh, in our home tournament. But uh, uh, there are a lot of positives. Obviously, the past two weeks have been really really good. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, that uh, tightness is <laughs> the huge. But um, I think it will come. Uh, I mean, just what, what's in our uh, thing, what our thing is that is to keep our heads down and keep working, and uh, the big titles will come. Yes. Uh, I guess, uh, today, uh, you brought, you won a lot of finals uh, leading up to China Masters. I think eight consecutive finals. I think now you brought three consecutive finals. Is that something that you think about as like? I mean, you're still reaching the finals. So how do you sort of? Being the disappointment of reaching a final but losing. Is that the kind of a bittersweet feeling? How do you kind of deal with that? Just to add to it, like, are you guys better in processing the losses now? I mean, compared to last year or maybe two years ago? Because you have played very really tough matches, it is mentioned. So, yeah, I think I, I personally feel uh, sometimes losing is better than winning always. I think. Uh, Few tournaments where we lost, then got lucky. Few tournaments we won, uh, but I feel when it really matters, it will come. We just need to hang in there. Especially today, 16 17 in the third game, little bit 5% nervous. We could have control, then it will be 21 16. Favorite will be on favorite all the time, but we couldn't control. So, so yeah, I mean, we played three finals, we lost to them, the two very close, the one is 21-19 third game, then again 21-18, 21-18, it's very close, so we could have kept calm in those crucial situations and uh, yeah, like uh, I always think when it matters you need to play, like at that time you need to be courage to take those decisions and play, so so playing playing back to back tournament it's really tough for us and there are a lot of good things to take on like uh, we are not just play only one week and rest second week. So this 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 start like what we wanted to do at least like from the we wanted to hit the podium. But uh, de definitely it's disappointing we are not there winning. But uh, uh, there are a lot of good things. We are still hungry. Like I, I feel like we are not satisfied. We are more hungry. So that will pump us uh, next few days. We take off then we start again for. All England and French Open. So, so losing is better sometimes. I feel it will give a lot of motivation for me. I feel now personally, I'm happy that we lost in front of home crowd. That will give you a lot of motivation for me <coughs> to make them happy next time. Like to see them like us winning big title. So, so yeah. I mean disappointed, but uh, kind of happy. Okay, we lost. Okay, a lot of things to learn and move on. Uh, guys, congratulations for some of our great puzzle games. Uh, uh, you had the missing piece in the puzzle, you know, you have been leading games and uh, it still you have been uh, on the losing side. Uh, did the home pressure uh, play its part and what do you think uh, for just filling that missing piece in the puzzle? Um, no, I don't think that there was any sort of pressure. 
uh, going into the match probably um, would have happened in the first set itself. Like I, I wouldn't say there was a lot of pressure. It's pretty much the same. But did it have any physical form because you have been playing for the last couple of weeks back to back. So did that have any role? Obviously, uh, you uh, there is fatigue uh, going into the second week. It's always. We've never played two back-to-back -back finals in our entire lives. Probably in challenge tournament, but never in super <coughs> high end or super sensitive. So the positive thing is that we we are playing quite consistent. Uh, the not so good thing is that we couldn't win the finals. But obviously, uh, you can't win everything. Um, and uh, like Satvik said, uh, our obviously our targets are to win at the big events and. Uh, I, for a fact, know that eventually things will turn into our favor. We just need to stick uh, right there, and eventually things will turn into our favor. But uh, to look at the uh, larger picture, we are happy that we could play the finals, but uh, sad that we couldn't win it. But uh, eventually, we will get that. Uh, but Chirag, uh, at the start of the match, there was a lot of uh, chatter coming from the chair empire. Would you like to uh, tell us what was all, that all about when the match started? Before the match started. Before the match started. Before the match started. Yeah, we had some chat with uh, the empire. Oh, though, uh, like, in, like, it was too noisy initially, so we uh, thought that we were, the opponents decided to, the Koreans decided to uh, serve. So, initially, so we said that Satvik is receiving. But uh, they had chosen to receive. So that's why I told him if it's receiving, then probably I'll serve. That was the second. Yeah, so what was going through your mind, you know, walking onto the court side at the beginning, looking at that fact travel and then hearing that noise? Were you feeling the nerves? We are feeling confident, there was no doubt. But uh, yeah, like, uh, can see like full pack stadium. It gives a lot of boost and uh, we didn't feel like we are playing second week finals. Felt like really comfortable there. Uh, can see opponents also under pressure in the first set. Then they kind of settled down their self and they played their game. They played like nothing to lose game. Then we kind of wanted to win win between every point. We never settled down and little bit taught at them and we just played like random strokes at uh, crucial time uh, which got their confident in the second game then the third game it was neck to neck neck to neck neck to neck so yeah i mean entering uh, entering on court we felt really confident we thought like we had them we had our chances <coughs> Um, yeah, I think they started, um, they weren't lifting initially in the first couple of points and we sort of tried to play in between and um, tried to play a little too sharp, which should, uh, like we could have lifted it and they were quite um, consistent in their defense, like attack, they weren't really going out and hitting all guns facing, they were sort of play, uh, dropping it initially and then waiting for the opportunity to win but uh, we could have probably been a little more calmer and then instead of playing it in between just lifted it higher and ready for the defense but um, yeah they um, gave we sort of gave away a little too easy points initially and it was quite difficult to eventually uh, come back in the second and um, I think after a point we just sort of they took the pace off it. A lot of uh, off pace shots, they varied it, and that kind of like didn't give you the chance to go on the attack. Right? That's kind of what happened. Uh, definitely, I think uh, they weren't really, uh, especially from the mid court, they were just sort of playing it soft, and then eventually when they were lifting it, they weren't hitting it right in the first row. They were dropping it, dropping it, and then when they had the opportunity. Then they were uh, attacking, but uh, like I said, we gave away way too easy points in the start and uh, wouldn't really come back in the second. Hi guys, tough luck.
Uh, well, it's been a good start to the year, so congratulations on that. I'm going to ask this question to Sadhguru. You have a mental coach for a while now. Can you tell us about that and what's the kind of help that you've got uh, you know, by having a mental coach? Uh, firstly, I never used to believe it's so useful. Uh, I used to have my brother, I used to call him whenever I needed, but later on I started uh, with my co sports team. Uh, they suggested me, I thought like I will try and things have literally changed for me like I am always in mental peace when I enter court like I have uh, this tournament he was here uh, telling me especially on the quarter final day we had a one and a half hour chat because I badly wanted to beat them that Denmark uh, so so that helped me like that made me like okay nothing to worry just be calm, few talks here and there, then yesterday also he was there. Today also he was there before the match, he was telling, go there and enjoy, have fun. Few things, there is a person to share everything. So whenever we talk, I tell all my things, sir, this is happening, this is not happening with me, this is not happening. So he tells me so many positive things that, that make me more comfortable for me to on court. So uh, I am really happy I am working with him and uh, I really thankful for him. Uh, hi guys, uh, uh, well played today, but uh, back to back fun, back to back, being on a defending uh, side must be hard uh, for you guys. Now going ahead to the Masters, Innovation Masters, and then uh, you mentioned about friends, uh, friends uh, tournament also. What is the mindset, what's the temperament before going because New Year, Finals, well played, but being on a losing side, then it must be hard to uh, move on. Um, yeah, obviously, uh, it takes a, t a bit of time to um, come back after a loss. But uh, we've always been the players where where we've not really uh, taken too much out of the wins. Like we, whenever we uh, win, we celebrate in the evening and then back to work the next day. Uh, similarly, when we've lost a tournament, it, um, we. Feel bad, obviously, that day. But uh, next day we are back on court, uh, so that's how it's going to be. And uh, like I said, we'll uh, keep our heads down. Obviously, be happy. Not that we shouldn't be happy at all, uh, because we played two finals. Uh, but uh, uh, not satisfied. Definitely not satisfied. Um, we'll we'll be back much stronger and convert that uh, loss into a win in. Uh, in the next big event. Um, just to both of you, two questions. Uh, first is that um, five years back when uh, the tournament shifted here to the Hiding Stadium, I remember the you know, the final day there was, there was hardly any crowd. Victor came and also said that would have been there. Would have, uh, you know, there would have been some audience. How does it feel to you know you bring the main crowd to us? Uh, or it was almost a back house uh, uh, who came out to. Here for you. One, uh, one is that, and second thing is that uh, you. It's been a fantastic uh, 2023 and also a great 2024. Uh, whether we won or lost uh, the finals, that, that really doesn't matter. But uh, uh, it is it is it the place you want to be uh, uh, right now? I mean, uh, I remember last year you guys said that there were the Indonesian performer number, number ones and the Aaron and so you wanted to be. And uh, you've done that. What are the next uh, targets apart from uh, the Olympics? So, where do you want to play at uh, uh, right now? Is it the level that you want to continue uh, right now? Yeah, when we won, uh, that time cold was happening. That was a miracle. We were supposed to not play the tournament because uh, something happened. We uh, uh, we last minute we booked a number of tickets, so something was happened. And uh, so every day someone is getting positive, someone is getting negative. We don't know negative but common positive, hai, common negative. Hai. So so it was it was memorable tournament, but uh, I felt like. Good like winning at uh, India Open. It was a, my dream, especially I had a big dream like crowd ke saamne jeetna hai mera, hamara crowd ke saamne. So, uh, so last year when uh, 
then uh, I because of my injury I considered then I felt like really really bad. I told my physios I will play with injury uh, that doesn't I I can manage myself. So so I have one month after that same as in now like playing the open then play direct on England that time same. So I had six weeks of I told my physios like uh, just tape it and I will play off. Uh, then coaches and all decided. Uh, told me like don't play. so I felt really bad but this time I decided like Malaysia Open Pele on target to be but India Open I want to play finals I want to win I want to win in front of my crowd and uh, do well in India so yeah this this year like again uh, we played finals and I was like really worried Abhi second week Abhi kaisa hoga body kaya kaya hai. so. I had a shoulder, this thing, so but we kind of managed and played final, so really happy uh, that we played two final back to back. Can you talk about the, the how uh, the game has evolved to both of you? I mean, you were really attacking game, now also you have done but your defense is really good. And uh, now we see Sadik also coming in front of the four, using a lot of uh, variations, uh, you know, to the back. So can this talk to you, like, with six months down the line Olympics, is the focus more on maybe doing a little more experimentation with uh, you know, how you guys are going about the game? Can you just talk about that? Um, well, yeah, obviously now uh, you can't have a single sort of a game plan where you're just attacking all the time. Uh, you, uh, there are players on the circuit where four different quite well, and if you just you won't be able to last uh, really long if you just keep on attacking. So you need to have a different facet as well that is to defend. And uh, um, I think uh, in the past couple of uh, in the past two years especially, um, we've worked a lot on our defense as well. And uh, I think we've been defending quite well. And uh, especially um, in the past couple of months, we can see the improvement. Uh, in that aspect, which it definitely helped us at the Asian Games, especially in the slow conditions. We need to have a really strong defense and I think in the past couple of months it's definitely worked really, really well for us. Zinia? You have two very good weeks to start this season. What are the big takeaways you are taking out of this? You know, both the positives and the areas to improve on? Uh, so I feel like Malaysia, we played like 80% of attacking game and played, we didn't use our defense. So here also starting few matches, we didn't use our defense, we are kept on attacking, attacking, attacking. Then we used uh, semis and quarter final, we played a little bit defense. Then I feel like there is much more in our tank and we can play all round game. Today that was a minus thing, yesterday it was a plus thing that we used full court. Today we couldn't do that. First game, it came very easy. We, it, they were doing mistakes, and we thought like second game also they may give up. But we could have used the full court. We could have moved them. Then things have been different. Uh, so yeah, that's the positive thing. We didn't play like full court. Still, we were very close. Uh, we were down. Still, uh, we came back very close. So uh, and. The best positive mentally we are there. We didn't give up easily. Second week also, like uh, we had that hunger. Uh, there's a top match tomorrow also. We had that hunger as well. So we are ready to play one more match as well. So so that the biggest positive thing and mentally we are we are there and physically can be much better. Obviously we get tired, but can be much better because. The main problem we both love to play in attack, so that's why we get tired and get injuries easily. We don't play in defense, we don't want to also. So that's the minus thing, but uh, yeah, a uh, lot of positive things last two week, I mean, last week and this week. So hoping for good weeks ahead. Next week, we have the team championship. Will the dash yourself perform as well? What do you say about that? Sorry? Next week, we have the team championship. Next week? Next month. Uh, um, yeah, obviously, uh, the, like we want to do well at the Asian Team Championships, but uh, definitely our main goal would be to do well at the Thomas Cup. Um, we are the defending champions there, and um, 
we want to uh, obviously be on the podium but hopefully retain, retain our title we will uh, definitely go out there as like as a, as good as possible like we've always done well at the uh, team events uh, we did well at the Asian Games as well uh, playing our first team finals leading obviously 2-0 almost had that final but uh, I think we overall had some really good uh, performances at the men's team event especially so we want to go out there and hopefully come back uh, with a medal as good as we did last time so right now we are not playing in Indonesia. So my education after got for longer term what is the strategy in that? Longer term. We wanted to play less tournament with more quality. So that was the key as in twenty twenty three as well. We didn't play hardly we played twelve tournaments, that's it. We could have played fifteen sixteen tournaments, we would have played for the World Tour finals. But our target was not to get injured. In whatever we are playing, we need to play finals or something. So that was our target. So so maybe next we play team championship, then French and All England, then we take it from there once. Last question number. Uh, at, the, at the end of the decider, there was a five-point deficit. So, did it become decisive? Uh, maybe, like, I think, obviously, you want to be leading uh, going into the mid-game interval, but uh, we've always had comebacks. Also, we've had uh, our opponents coming back, but yeah, obviously, you want, we would have wanted to be closer to them or probably in the lead, but uh, I think, uh, like I said, there are always ifs and buts. Uh, there have been times where uh, we have been down in a final and come back, uh, where probably the Asian Championship final where we were down 13-6 uh, in the second. Um, or um, I can recall a lot of finals where we've been down and won, and also have been like leading and lost. So there are all, uh, there are a lot of ifs and buts, but I think uh, what's important is to uh, come back after those losses. Uh, it's tough, obviously, to uh, uh, to come back after a loss. But I think uh, we are more than capable. I know for a fact. Um, uh, whenever we are down, we always come back stronger. And I think um, as a pair. Our main aim is to do well at the big events and um, we'll come back stronger in the big events. Thank you all. Thank you.